This is Jason at Primal Engineering. We have our Gobbit robot here that we're going to test the motors to make sure they're properly wired. To do that, we use the Arduino IDE. Let's open this up. We're going to use the Gobbit line command library, which I've already installed. But you can check if yours is installed by going to Sketch, Include Library, and I see mine right here. If it wasn't there, You'd use manage libraries to install it. We have another video that explains that. We'll go to file, examples, scroll down to goblet line command, motor directional test. I need to plug in my robot, and we're going to send this file and use the serial monitor to control the motors. So I plugged it in. I got to make sure that I go to tools, port. And my port that's active is selected, that's the only one, so it's pretty easy for me to tell. Mine's 23, yours could vary. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. And I'm watching down at the bottom bar, the status bar here, it's telling me it's compiling the sketch. It means it's going through the program and making sure it's okay. Now it is in the upload process. Once this is done, we'll jump over to the serial monitor up here. Okay. Open up serial monitor. Now you have to make sure the baud is at 115,200. So this is our prompt here. Looking at, we type in L in the status bar, or the, uh, the prompt up here, we put in L for left, R for right, V for both. I'm just going to do one motor. Let's just start with the left motor. And you can either hit the enter key or hit the send button. Now which direction? Let's just try forward, which would be F. Hit send. You see our left motor is spinning. It looks like it's going forward. This is the front of the robot. Okay. So the left motor is correct. Now I'll just tell it to stop. S. And exit back to prior menu. Now I want to try the right motor for R. I'm going to go forward again, F. Looks like the right motor is functioning properly. Great. So I'll tell it to stop. Which is S. Send that. I'll go back a menu, which is X. Exit. I'm going to test both motors this time, just to make sure. Send. I'm going to have it uh, turn right. R. So these are moving the opposite directions. It should be turning to the right. Okay. Now this is just running off of the USB power, so the motors don't have much power right here. That's why it's moving slow, but that's actually good. I'm going to stop it. So this is working properly. If you turn on the battery power, it'll move really fast and you might lose it off your desktop pretty quickly. Now with this, if something was wrong, so if this motor was turning the wrong direction, if, it was, if the correct motor was turning, I told it to turn the left motor, but it was turning the wrong direction, I would just reverse the wire leads on the motor driver. So if the motors don't move the way you want them to move, well, you need to change the wiring on them. So there's some suggestions back in the sketch itself. If you go to the top, it tells you the parts that are needed, how to use it, and under to use, there's some instructions and some notes on if the motors are moving the wrong, if the right motor is spinning but the wrong direction, you just swap the wires. If the wrong motor is moving whenever you told it to move the left, the right one is turning, well, you probably have to change both wires on both motors, you have to swap places on those.